Savitri Book 7 The Book of Yoga Canto 6 Nirvana and the All Negating Absolute Page 544 Second line Even now some thoughts could cross her solitude they surge not from the depths or from within cast up from formlessness to seek a form spoke not the body's need nor voiced life's call they seem not born nor made in human time children of cosmic nature from a far world ideas shapes in complete armor of words posted like travelers in an alien space out of some far expanse they seem to come as if carried on vast wings like large white sails and with easy access reach the inner ear as though they used a natural privilege right to the high royal entries of the soul as yet their path lay deep concealed in light then looking to know whence the intruders came she saw a spiritual immensity pervading and encompassing the world space as either a transparent tangible air and through its sailing tranquility a thought as smoothly glides a ship nearing its port ignorant of embargo and blockade confident of entrance and the visa's seal it came to the silent city of the train towards its accustomed and expectant quay but met a bearing will a blow of force and sank vanishing in the immensity after a long vacant pause another appeared and others one by one suddenly emerged minds unexpected visitors from the unseen like far off sails upon a lonely sea but soon that commerce failed none reached mind's coast then all grew still nothing moved any more immobile self wrapped timeless solitary a silent spirit pervaded silent space in that absolute stillness bare and formidable they was glimpsed an all negating void supreme that claimed its mystic nihil sovereign right to cancel nature and deny the soul even the new sense of self grew pale and thin impersonal signless featureless void of forms a blank pure consciousness had replaced the mind her spirit seemed the substance of a name the world a pictured symbol drawn on self a dream of images a dream of sounds built up the semblance of a universe or lent to spirit the appearance of a world this was self seeing in that intolerant hash no motion and no concept could take shape there was no sense to frame the figure of things a sheer self sight was there no thought arose emotion slept deep down in the still heart or lay buried in a cemetery of peace all feeling seemed quiescent calm or dead as if the heart strings rent could work no more and joy and grief could never rise again the heart beat on with an unconscious rhythm but no response came from it and no cry vain was the provocation of events nothing within answered an outside touch no nerve was stirred and no reaction rose 
yet still her body saw and moved and spoke it understood without the aid of thought it said whatever needed to be said it did whatever needed to be done there was no person there behind the act no mind that chose or passed the fitting word all wrought like an unerring act machine as if continuing old habitual turns and pushed by an old unexhausted force the engine did the work for which it was made her consciousness looked on and took no part all it upheld in nothing had a share